The best in action sports have invaded the land of Oz. The largest city in Australia has transformed into a BMX, skate, and moto playground. This is day one of X Games Sydney. What's happening everybody? Brandon Graham alongside the legend, 15 time X Games medalist, Chad Keggy. And we are hyped to be giving away the first medals of the X Games Sydney here in BMX Street. Oh, the first medals going out to the BMX Street riders. Look at this course. It is mimicking the real streets of rails, ledges, stairs. We do have some transition in there. These guys are going to be shredding as hard as they can for that podium spot. The crowd officially invading Spotless Stadium here for tonight's final. They are seeing the heaviest of hitters in tonight's lineup, headlined by none other than Garrett Reynolds, who's won this event nine times, Chad. Unbelievable to have nine gold medals in this event. All young guns just firing everything they've got with a target on his back every single time he rides. And this guy right here happens to be able to hit that target on occasion. Two gold medals. He's our defending gold champion right now. Chad Curley with so much flow and a cool style. It's gonna be interesting today to see what these guys bring to the table. Chad is now the hunted. As you said, he's won it twice before, but he's the most recent winner with that gold medal from Minneapolis just a few months ago. But as we said, this lineup is so good. And innovation, progression, always the name of the game when it comes to BMX Street. Uh, the diverse lines that are going to be coming through this, from the tech guys to the guys who just shred as fast as they possibly can. Some of them land super hard, doing hard tricks, and others, they just flow with this balance of nose wheelies, manuals, grinds, and somehow link it all together. There you see some familiar household names and some other rookies making their debut, including Courage Adams, a guy we'll be talking about quite a bit here today. But we kick things off with a guy coming in, making his eighth X Games appearance out of Frankfurt, Germany. Bruno Hoffman only found out that he was competing in this thing, I don't know, about 10 minutes ago, Chad. Maybe, maybe. Hopefully he had a chance to get some practice runs in. Knowing he was an alternate, I'm sure he was out there riding with the boys, and we're getting ready to drop him. He takes over Simona Baracco's place, so Bruno Hoffman, who did earn an X Games silver medal back in Barcelona in 2013. That's his lone podium appearance trying to get back there. Can he do it in our first final of X Games Sydney? Instantly going into tech moves, back and forth. 180, you'll notice his wheels are on opposite sides of the rails. It's so difficult. The, the attention to detail from these guys it's so far beyond anything we used to do a long time ago when we started riding street. They're rotating different directions every single time they hit a ramp, a rail. I'm blown away. And Bruno, as you can see, just a very methodical approach. Not a lot of pace to his riding out here. But he's out hitting all different aspects of the course. He's utilizing everything he possibly can. And that will do it if he gets one more in. And he's able to do that. To I see you shaking Hold your head it. going. Like, oh, I mean, what? Why? Buzzer going off. He got that in time. He was heading towards that rail. I mean, we look at some of these, these highlights. That wall ride doesn't even make sense. The transition goes the opposite direction, and then 180's out of it. And you'll notice, see, he's got that toothpick, front pegs on. Back tire's going over, swings the 180 all the way around, and pulls out of it smooth. So smooth, an 81.66, a very solid score for Bruno, who, as we said, was an alternate just getting in last minute. So our comp format for tonight's final goes as follows. We've got 10 riders out here. They're only getting two runs each at 45 seconds. The single best score counts. The margin for error razor thin. This is not a three run format. Only two attempts out here. The best of the best, they are gonna put it down. You mess up and put your feet down a few times, you know you're out. You're not a podium guy. 
So here's Lewis Mills, 20 years old, making his X Games debut. Oh, that's exciting. Uh, he's just rides on the rail, tail whip off, I mean, thin tires, thin rail. The, the skill and attention to detail there is amazing. 180 to 540 bar spin. And if it sounds like the crowd got a little louder for Lewis, that's because he's a Sydney local. <laughs> local hero, here we go. This is good. And he's got a really good run going. He's got good flow. He's putting a good solid line together. Uh, stepping off. He can keep going. No, nope. he's going to wave it off. Let it go. He only had about seven seconds left on the run. So he'll get one more attempt here in our final. And Lewis Mills, first X Games run officially in the books. How amazing would that be if your very first X Games ever was in the town that you lived in? Come on. You can't write it any better than that. And he's here out 20 years old, putting it down in his debut. A lot to like about this run, Chad. Oh, that's a tough one. Up the rail, 180 out. That's a tough rotation out of that. So a 69.33 for Lewis. Again, he'll get one more attempt to try to clean things up. There's some big names yet to drop in. So we move our attention now to Sean Rakaney, making his fifth X Games appearance. He does have a silver medal that he earned in street back in 2016 at X Games Austin. Sean's got some amazing bike riding skills. His control and his approach at the street course is a little different from the other guys. And he, uh, he brings his own unique style and lines out here. It'll Part of that. Fun to watch. Colt crew out of Tom's River, New Jersey. Oh, and throws it away on the first trick. I mean, just absolutely coming out with the heat. It didn't pay off this time. But he still has he still has 30 seconds to really put a run together. He doesn't want to give up at this point. How hard is it, especially in a jam format, wow. like that, when you don't kick things off the way you do, to mentally be able to push that aside and just move forward rather than call it an entire throw? -up? It really feels like it's an uphill battle at that point because you're trying to salvage what's left. You don't want to give it up. 30 seconds left, he can put a good run together. It may not win but it'll keep you from getting in last place. I'm gonna be anticipating his next run, because if he can put all those things together that I saw without stepping off his bike, he's gonna have a real good chance for an awesome score. Yeah, so Sean will look to clean things up on his second attempt, but again, there's not three chances out here. He gotta go for broke after posting that 44.66, and he knows it. It's not his first rodeo out here on the X Games stage. We now move on to Courage Adams. This is a guy that so many people have been talking about, and yet he's finally making his X Games debut at 22 years old. He is the first athlete to represent Nigeria at the X Games, so already making history before he even drops in, Chad. And if you have seen any of his web edits that he's been putting out, his skill level is really, really high. It is on par, and he deserves to be here. Look at the balance he has. Whoa! Oh, my gosh. I mean, that was unreal. The way he's able to link those unbelievably difficult balancing tricks together. He doesn't have breaks. He can't rely on those to keep him upright. That is all balance but as you said so unconventional than what we're seeing from the rest of the field this line is so unique he's gonna he'll clean this run up and he's definitely standing out that is a different style than what we're seeing and as you said before sometimes for the judges it's as easy as seeing a new face someone that maybe you're not seeing on the tour on the circuit of events and then when they come out and they put something together like we've never seen how far can you manual? This is crazy. It's unbelievable having a new face, new riding style, new person out here. He deserves to be here. He's he's proving that. He had a couple of mishaps. Maybe that, that rookie first run at X Games was just a little pressure. He'll clean it up for the second one. 
So Courage Adams score coming in at a 40.33. He'll get obviously another crack at it on the course. But our next rider to drop in, he's been doing it out here for a long time. 13 X Games appearances to his name. Dennis Anderson, along with the contests. All these guys spend so much time filming. Let's check it on da uh, Dennis as he talks about that balance. Dennis Henderson, 27 years old, from San Diego, California. When I'm not at big contest, I spend a lot of time at home working on video projects. Right now, my main focus is this part with Demolition Parts, Christian Regal, and Mike Mastroni. Yeah, a relationship with your filmer is very important. You have to have trust in them, so when you say you're ready to start focusing on the trick, you can forget about what they're doing and just know that they're gonna, they're doing their job right, and it's your turn just to zone in to what you're about to do because there's not any room to be thinking about other stuff. Some of the main challenges for me are always injuries. If you go into it with just like a minor sprained wrist or something as small as that, it can make the clip so much harder to get. This one's really important to me to do my best work in, and it's all street too, so that's another thing. I haven't had a full street part ever, so I'm kind of dedicating this time of my life to making this part as good as I can. I'll film other parts later on down the road, but for the time being, I want this to be the one that I'm like, that's the part I'm most happy with. Well, that part, cap lock, Caps Locks, was the 2018 Nora Cup video part of the year. That shook up the industry. Absolutely unbelievable that a guy as good as he is on ramps and street courses can do that on the on real street as well with edits. Unbelievable. Anderson has earned 10 X Games medals. He's Oh, on my goal. goodness, he's out of the course. Oh my! <laughs> Dennis Anderson, I can't even get through the resume without you jumping out of the course. Hey, if the, it's on the course, it's fair game, and he's using the rail that's actually the border for the course. He figured he'd just stop. That it. was psycho. Dennis Anderson, I was just saying he's found so much success in park and even has a couple of silver medals in street, but has yet to find the top spot. I guess staying on the course is the first key to that success. That, that does help, but he's a fast rider, a little too much speed here. Bye-bye. <laughs> and off he goes. Stage right. Yeah, and the weight just takes him over to the right. Thank God it wasn't a further drop. If we were on the street course in uh, Minneapolis, that, uh, that might hurt a little more. So, Anderson giving one to the crowd on his first attempt. 18.33. We'll see if the rest of the field can stay on the course when we return here for the BMX Street Final.
Welcome back to the BMX Street Final. We're early into run number one, where Bruno Hoffman, our alternate, who only got the start a few minutes before, has the early lead with an 81.66. But I want to head down to the third member of our team, Mitch Tomlinson, who's with the course jumper himself, Dennis Henderson. Yeah, that's right. I'm with Dennis now. Talk about using the whole course. What was going on there, and what did you want to achieve? Uh, I was doing an over ice pick, but I was just going a little fast, and I, I did it like a bunch of times. I guess just you know a little bit of adrenaline. I hit it a little bit faster, and just couldn't get back back over the course. So second run, maybe. I hope so. Shit, shoot. <laughs> Perfect, Dennis. Absolutely killing it. The energy down here is nonstop. <laughs> I think you, Mitch asked about using the whole course. I think he's using the entire stadium on that first run as he'll look to clean things up here in our two run final format. But we move our attention now throughout the lineup. Alex Dunnicky. Like Mitch says, the energy down there is electric. That crowd is really coming into this and just getting those boys fired up. Alex is our lone Scottish rider in the field. We saw him make his X Games debut back in 2016, where he had a top 10 finish in street, took eighth place. No Scottish athlete, this might shock you, Chad, has ever medaled at an X Games. Well, I believe he's fighting for that first <laughs> one. So a lot of history at stake here with some guys making their X Games debuts, guys representing countries that we don't traditionally see on the X Games stage. This is a fun one, and we're just getting started. Here's Alex's first attempt. Yeah, 180. He's got a crooked grind, comes back into it, 180. It's just, and there's utilizing a different portion of the course, bump jumping off of that, adding in tricks every time he hits something. Good to keep the flow going. Obviously, yeah, every rail comes in front of him. He's utilizing everything he's got there. Nice, consistent flow. You're seeing a laser focus from him, trying to hit every obstacle on this course. There are a ton of features. Well, it just takes a specific level of control to make sure you balance on a rail to make sure you get out of that and aim towards the next obstacle you want to hit to keep your line, keep your flow and everything else actually working the way it's supposed to. He did a really good job of making that a full pull. So we take one more look at Alex's first run and if you're just joining us, it's a 10 man final, only two attempts, the single best score counts. I love how he was using that bump jump. I haven't seen anybody hit that yet. Yep, detailed, doing multiple grinds on single rail, the flat section, then changes up the grind as he starts going down, mixing that up. The judges are definitely looking for that attention to detail, tack inside of his lines, and there you go. We have That's a exactly new leader why. of the clubhouse, 84.33 for Dunnicky as he takes over the top spot. That's that recipe right there. Full pull, all the way to the end. No bobbles, no mishaps. Dakota Roche, 31 years old, out of Huntington Beach, California, making his 12th X Games appearance. He's got three medals, one of them silver here in this event. And such an aggressive rider. You guys just saw that wall ride. He comes off of transitions that are angled in opposite directions, wall rides to things that just have hard landings. Somehow he puts it together with good flow. He's always into this, like that right there. He has original lines no one else is doing. It's such a departure from, I, dare I say, the more monotonous style that we just saw out of Alex before him. Well, you see someone like that go out and very methodically and controlled and consistent, and you're seeing a lot more speed come out of Dakota. And that speed is just, it creates a different kind of energy and a different style of riding. Well, that was great. He did step off the bike. It was in that last second. Shouldn't count too much against him. Very unique style, different. Here's another look at that. Yeah, that, that wall ride, that's, that's aggressive. He's just going out and attacking this course. I, he's jumping over rails, aiming for other grinds. He's got a big smile on his face because he's out there having fun. 
Yeah, 45 seconds is 45 seconds, no matter who's riding. But when Dakota's on the course, it always feels like that time goes a little quicker. Oh, he's just going so fast, hitting everything. That'll put him right up into third place. 73.33, right behind Bruno. So that puts Dakota, after his first attempt, into the top three. So our next rider to drop in, Devin Smiley. He's got a silver medal and a bronze medal in this event. A bike may be his vehicle for vocation, but he's multi-talented. He also skates very well. I'm Devin Smiley, and I compete in X Games BMX Street. Most of my time spent isn't usually riding contests. I am usually out riding street and filming for video parts, and if I'm not doing that, I'm at a skate park playing around on a skateboard. I got into skateboarding through BMX racing when I was about five years old. There was a little prefab park at a racetrack that I used to go to, and my mom bought me a skateboard. There's no pressure at all when I get to go out skating. Going to a skate park and not worrying about having to go out filming or anything and not having any expectations to live up to with it, you know, it's a little bit easier to just go out and have fun. So there's been like a few times I've gone to the skate park on my bike and had skaters kind of say something to me offensively and as soon as I pull out a skateboard it's kind of like they take everything back almost and you get the same satisfaction from working hours on trying a clip so they're not that different really. And it's good having a balance so I'm not burning myself out riding BMX every single day. Well, the skate BMX rivalry may still be alive and well, but don't say that to Devin as uh, he's just as quick to jump on a bike as he is four wheels. Uh, no, no drama between the four wheel and two wheel when it comes to him. That is awesome. So Devin Smiley making his fifth X Games appearance. He earned a bronze medal just a few months ago at X Games Minneapolis, trying to get back on the podium. Trying to double up on, the, on medals this year. Here we go, there's a very unique style again. It's so fun watching guys use the same exact course, so unique and different from everybody else. That's a line we haven't seen yet, so cool. Yeah, Smiley's just putting, he's putting a handful of grinds, different 180s, hard 180s, his balance tricks. He was just balancing backwards, going down a ledge on his wheel. So final five, is he gonna get one more in? So the thing about Devin Smiley, and I've always noticed this in his runs, particularly at the street events here at X Games, is how effortless he makes some of the most technical tricks look. Well, you can look at his tech run in contrast to someone like, say, Dakota, where he's got that aggressive style. He's going a little bit slower, a little methodical, and real tech adding multiple tricks, 180 grind, 180 back out. He's throwing bar spins in. Uh, there's a different line there. He's going up rails on one side and hopping over the other side of the rail. His, his approach to it is quite unique and different from the other guys. So Dunnick, he's still leading the way with that 84.33, but Devin posting a 79, and that puts him up into third place. Wow, what a run again, earning that bronze medal at X Games Minneapolis 2018. Maybe he's just looking for two bronzes in a row. 12 X Games medals, 10 of them gold. He's Garrett Reynolds. Let's check him out off of the bike. My name is Garrett Reynolds. I've always thought about starting a brand. I've always looked up to riders that own their own brands. Right around 2010, the timing seemed right, and all my friends that I wanted to sponsor were on board. So we decided to start Fiend. The most important part of owning your own brand is hiring the people that you can trust and believe in. You guys all have the same vision. 
I'm the CEO. I overlook everything that we're doing, but I'm really thankful that Tony and Kevin give me a bunch of help. They take a lot of the workload off my back so I can continue to do what I love, which is ride my bike. One of our main goals with Fiend is just to make really cool stuff. Like we totally believe in it. If we do things that we like, it will show through with other kids, you know what I mean? This whole brand was started because we want to do things the way we want to do them. Keep the dream alive. So Garrett Reynolds has the third most gold medals of any BMX athlete in X Games history. He's got 10 behind Dave Mira and Jamie Bestwick, who each have 14. It's simply incredible what this young man has been able to accomplish over his 13 X Games appearances. So consistent. It, that right there is just a testament to how dialed he is. He has fun on his bike and he practices and he's super good at it. Considering he's the CEO of his own company, it's amazing to see that he still has time to go out and ride to a level that keeps him at golds constantly and right. occasionally a silver. I mean, Chad Curley's got a target on his back for taking away his last gold medal. And here we go, we're bringing the heat. So he got the gold in 17. Curley took it from him in X Games Minneapolis 2018. Is this enough to get back on track and grab another one? Just a, a great combination of nose wheelie on a rail, the bar spin. He's putting these pieces together that realistically, you go back a couple years, most of what he just did was a video trick. You would try an entire day trying to get clips like this, and he's putting them together in a single 45 second run. Bar spin to manual on a rail, and then straight into the nose manual to bar spin. I, both of those back to back, I'm impressed. Garrett Reynolds, he impresses me on a regular basis, and he just did it again. Garrett well, Reynolds has never earned worse than a silver medal in his <laughs> X Games street career. Think about that for a second. And only has two of them. That puts things into perspective pretty well, doesn't it? So every single time he has ridden in X Games, he stood on a podium. Second place is the worst feeling in the world for him, so much so that it's only happened twice <laughs> in 13 appearances. And 83.33, uh-oh, don't tell Garrett, that's second place. <laughs> yeah, I have to clean some things up, a point behind Alex Dunneke for first place, but uh, something tells me he might have something up his sleeve for his second and final run. But we turn our attention now to the San Diego native, Chad Curley. The guy with more balance than anybody else I have ever seen can somehow link these lines from one side of the course all the way to the other. He'll nose wheelie, he'll, he'll manual. He'll end up backwards doing backwards manuals just to start linking things together. It's so good. And approaching the rail, bar spin to ice pick grind, and comes out of it like he just barely moved. And he started a new nutrition program right before X Games Minneapolis. He's been working out with Dennis Enerson. And he says right now he's never felt stronger, which should be scary to the rest of the oh, field. Oh, that's just making things even more dangerous for everybody else. And coming out of a 360 going, or coming out of the grind going up and pulls a 360 smooth. It barely looked like he put any effort into that. When you can show people that you're doing something and it looks effortless, you're doing it right. So here's another look at our defending gold medalist. Also amazing balance. Doesn't matter which wheel he's on, amazing balance, and he doesn't have brakes. That is all complete balance and body position. So it's Dunneke leading the way through run one with that 84.33. Garrett Reynolds and Bruno Hoffman rounding out the top three. But I think Chad Curley might have had something to say about that. We await the judges score for his first run. Really taking their time with this one, Chad. Uh, they've got to think it through. That was a, an impressive run and it puts him in third place. That is a podium Eight. run as it stands right now, 82.33.
Run one officially in the book. Second and final tumps here from X Games Sydney right after this. X Games returns to Buttermilk Mountain with the world's best action sports festival and live musical performances from The Chainsmokers, Lil Wayne, Louis the Child, and Kaigo. He's going! He does it! X Games Aspen, January 24th through the 27th. Get your tickets now at xgames.com slash tickets. Lil Wayne at X Games Aspen 2019. Are you kidding me? Get your tickets now, xgames.com slash tickets. I'll be there. I'm trying to score passes for Chad Kagey right now. Let's do this. That and chain smokers, let's we, do it. We're in the middle of run number one here at BMX Street Finals. I should say run one officially in the books. And there you see after run number one, our top three, but we've still got attempts number two. Let's head down to Mitch, who's with our current leader. One run down, one run to go. I told you you were in first place. You didn't believe me. No, I still don't. Do <laughs> you think this is candid camera or something? I think it's, yeah, it's a joke. Okay, it's not a joke. How are you feeling being in the first place going in the second run? A lot more nervous now. Perfect. Nerves, best of luck. It's coming up real shortly. All right, thank you. <laughs> That's what we call game face, Chad Kay. Having a good time out there and not realizing where he is in the standings. That's pretty funny. It's one thing to be in first place in a BMX street event early in the contest. It's a whole nother thing after Garrett Reynolds and Chad Curley drop in and you're still in first place. Yeah, that's an entire round in the books and he's still on top of the leaderboard. Mm. So we move on to run number two. It's our second and final runs here in the BMX Street Final. Bruno Hoffman, if you're just joining us, found out really moments before the contest that he would be competing in this. And he's sitting in fourth place, just got knocked out of podium position. Well, there's seven riders out there who want to clean up their run change things and get back onto that podium spot. And here we go, totally different run. Changing things up. Yeah, he's going with a, a quite a bit more speed. And cleaned up his runs. He's not stepping off his bike at all, if you've noticed that. The challenge, Chad, that's faced, especially in a format like this, where you put together a solid first run, you're now on the outside looking in, there has to be at least a small part of you that thinks to yourself, what if I shake it up and show the judges something completely different from my first attempt versus how do I clean up and just tighten up what I did in attempt number one? If your first run had things that you could clean up enough to really make a difference, then simply cleaning it up would be great. 
But if you ever have a chance to pull out something new in the middle of a run after you already had a solid one go in and surprise the judges, that's the best chance at a good score. So we'll see how the judges thought of that. An 81.66 was very solid for Bruno Hoffman, and it set the pace as the first rider to drop in here in tonight's final. But he's currently sitting just outside of podium position. Did that run change things up? Was it enough to potentially, at least temporarily, bump out Chad Curley? And no. <laughs> Didn't move his place. A 79.66, no. not enough, and not enough to best his run one score. So fourth place is where he will stay. And He's going to stick on. with it, and we'll see if any of the other guys have anything to say about that fourth place spot. The Sydney local, Lewis Mills, you can already hear the fans getting a little bit louder. He also rides for Fiend BMX, the company owned by Garrett Reynolds. Oh, you can definitely hear the crowd getting behind this local. You know when they've got a local boy out there. And on top of that, oh, look at this. Superstar oh. bloodlines. Chad, his brother Callum is a star midfielder for the Sydney Swans in the Australian Football League. Do you think they battle each other, totally separate sports, to see who can get the highest ranking? <laughs> Did you see that line? Oh, I saw it. Oh, his balance we're for sure going to get a replay of that one he had a grind into I believe it was the nose manual to I, I it, that was good that was really really good and the fans letting him hear it and it's not just because they're AFL fans they see what young Lewis brings to the table here in his X Games debut Lewis is making Sydney proud Bar spin, manual, all the way up, and then Smith grind to nose manual. All of that connected. Combo, combo, combo. Insane. It's like a video game. Yeah, full 360, full cab, down the ledge. He's able to make that stuff where you're landing on flat ground actually roll out of it looking smooth. An 84 for Lewis Mills, jumping all the oh, way up to second Oh, you're ready place. for this crowd to go insane. Loving it. Wow, what a moment for Lewis Mills in his X Games debut in front of the hometown crowd, jumping up in a podium position. How do you like that? Do you look at that current podium right now? That's heavy. That's interesting. That's a changeup. When you bump out Garrett Reynolds down a position, that's saying something. But Garrett, of course, will get one more attempt out here. Sean dropping in, wants to improve upon his 44-6-6. He knows he has it. He's got the skills for it. Yeah, Sean already miles better than what we saw out of his first attempt. He's linking it together. It's that flow. It, if you don't get it right off the start, it's like an uphill battle constantly trying to overcome the bad start. That run had a really good start. This has got such better flow. Solid 360 out of that. Final five seconds for Sean. He, he's nailing everything. Feet go straight back to the pedals. He's not wobbling anywhere. Solid run, that was a full pull. You can't ask for much more than that, saving his best for last. Is it enough, though, to jump up into the top three? For sure he's improved upon his eighth place. But you're right, can he break into that elite top three? He's no stranger to the podium. The stage isn't too big. In his X Games debut in Austin in 2016, he earned a silver medal. And that score, an 80.33, as you noted, cleaning things up so much better than his first attempt. But that's only good enough for sixth place in this final. That was essentially double his last score and good enough for, for sixth. 
So Courage Adams, as you see, the first athlete to represent Nigeria at X Games. He calls Spain home, and he's making his X Games debut here in Sydney. Oh, this is so fun to watch. I was watching this line in practice. Oh, no! I think collectively everybody here wanted him to land that so badly. he has. Just that bike control is incredible. And it looks effortless. What's he got? What's he got? Oh, wow. Long manual, Barsman ice pick. Uh, he's just, he's linking things together and just had that unfortunate mess up right in the beginning. I mean, we can already sit here, though, Chad, and say for the 22-year-old making his X Games debut, his bike control rivals anyone in this field. He has it, 100%. He comes out of a transition straight into that, and unfortunate, out of the grind, jumps back up onto his front wheel and just flips over the bars. He just went a little OTB, and that could be nerves. I mean, it's your first time ever in X Games, and it's in the finals. It's a learning experience. He's out there having a good time riding with everybody. A 61.66. His day is over, but something tells me he's just scratching the surface in his young X Games career. The day might be over. This is a, more of a marathon. I see a lot of good things in his future. So Dennis Anderson, in case you missed it, uh, had trouble staying on the course <laughs> in his first attempt. Really effectively jumping out. We'll see if he can stay on and put together a solid score. Here we go. Here's what did it. And he pulls it this time. <laughs> Back in. Again. Yes. Dennis just missed the podium in Minneapolis. Had to settle for fourth place. He's out there putting in everything he can. He's got energy. He is going fast. A couple of those low landings are, are rough. I know how they feel on the ankles. It's not always the best thing. He's putting the speed in there. I like what I'm seeing. All the way to the end, he put his foot down the one time. That'll count a little bit against him, but he had a great run. Uh, it's just been a heck of a year for Anderson, regardless. A silver medal in Park at X Games Minneapolis. Caps Lock, the Nora Cup video part of the year. Oh, that Caps Lock video part. If you guys haven't seen it, go search for it. Watch him in his element. It's incredible. Such a diverse rider. I'm fairly certain his 18.33 is going to get uh, Bounced thrown out. away. Something tells me you might be right. An 82 for Dennis Anderson, jumping him all the way up into fifth place. Who wins gold? We find out when we return here at BMX Street Final.
We're ready to start handing out some medals. It's final attempts time here in the BMX Street Final at the inaugural X Games Sydney. We've got just five riders left to drop in for their final attempts. And Chad Kagey, amazingly enough, Alex Dunneke is still holding on to the top spot. This is an exciting mix-up. The typical two guys that you expect to be on top are in third and fourth place with two people who have never medaled in the top two places. Are they going to feed off this pressure? They've got one more run to go, and we'll see if uh, Garrett Reynolds and Chad Curley can come back on top. So now, if you're Alex Dunneke and you're out there coaching, what do you tell them right now? He's got to keep his head straight. He said he's more nervous now because he knows he's in first place, but he's in a comfortable position. He's already in first place with a great run. So be safe, go out, have fun, and enjoy it. Enjoy that moment. And oh, by the way, don't even think about the big dogs that are still coming for you, for their medals. You, you make your run happen. They'll take care of theirs, and everybody be happy. And he's putting stuff together. He's, he's enjoying it. Keeping his flow. He's coming down to the end of the run. He's done a good job keeping his head on straight, keeping it consistent. How important was it for you? You won four X Games in your career. How important was it for you in the middle of a contest to know the standings and know where you were sitting? The strategy that goes into it is an interesting side of it that most people can't grasp unless you're actually in it. Because if you know you've done 100% of your tricks and you're still not in first place, what else can you do? Or if you still have tricks to go, do I need to tap into those because they're not 100% good tricks for me? Or do I take the chance and roll the dice? And that's what the standings are going to do for you. <laughs> Dunneke's day is over, and he's got the backpack on. Alex, you might want to stick around. <laughs> uh, you're still our current leader. Dakota Roche is sitting in ninth place. No one rides this course with more pace than Dakota. He always makes it exciting. Here we go. Straight back into that wall ride. Aggressive riding. He's got a different speed to him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can see him laughing. <laughs> Who knows if he even meant to grab onto a, a ledge there or not. I mean, he is just launching himself around the street course. And there is not an empty seat around this course. Everyone in for a treat here with the final attempts. Dakota hitting every single spot he can. Every ledge, every rail, every wedge that's in front of him, he's doing something on it and trying as fast as he can to get to all of it. And it just feels like with everyone else, there's a methodical approach in terms of the strategy of each feature. Sometimes it feels like when you're watching Dakota, it's like jazz, like improv in real time on the course. You might think that he's a bit of a loose cannon just putting nothing but power into this thing and going crazy. He has thought this out and practiced his run it's his riding style that comes through, and it's so awesome to see the energy coming out. Gets the crowd into it, and he's got a smile on his face. <laughs> so his score dropping in at a 73, not enough to move the needle in the standings. And there you see our current leader, Dunneke. Will he hold on now? He just has to sit and wait. Devin Smiley sitting in eighth place. Had a very good run one, but the elevated riding has pushed him all the way down into eighth place. And doing box jump tricks on a street course, mixing things up, bump jump to a suicide no-hander. He's just mixing things up, changing. Uh, he might be in a situation where if something doesn't work, you just mix it up and change it to see what the judges are going for. Because although he's competing against nine other people, it's the opinion of five judges that really put him in his place. Keeping it going, keeping the flow.
Where's he going? Oh, now that's tech. And he just that is incredible. all the way through. Barspin manual up a transition and stays on it without breaks. Perfect balance all the way back off the ledge. The crowd loving what they saw. Yeah. We loved what I mean, we saw. Look now at the other the riders judges. all celebrating with him at how incredible that last hit was. That was unreal. So this is a typically a box jump trick. Suicide no-hander, you're not holding the handlebars and they could spin, and he comes out of a bump jump just hitting the face of that ledge. Our bronze medalist from X Games, oh, Minneapolis, but look at this. Bar spin to manual, and anybody who's watching, no breaks. He's got the free coaster so he doesn't have to go backwards and makes it all the way off the ledge. It counts because he did the bar spin into the manual before the before buzzer. Before the buzzer, exactly. That is one trick. He never dropped it down. Oh, it's incredible. I mean, that might be the longest last trick in history. That was so cool to see. There you see our current leader, Dunneke. Will he stay there after the performance? Smiley just put on an 82.66. Amazingly, Chad, not enough to break the podium. Hey, the final two are the battle. They have the chance to mix up this podium. But no matter how you look at it, Dunneke's got a podium spot. Yeah, he is guaranteed a medal. He just doesn't know what color it will be. First medal for him and BMX Street for his country. Garrett Reynolds has never finished worse than silver in BMX Street. He's currently in bronze medal position. So we're going to have to get into the fine-tuned details here, the attention to detail on exactly what he's doing. He is mixing so many tricks together, trying to aggressively hit this course. 360 tr Oh, oh no. and the step off! The, the second his foot touched the ground, that it, it front tire skipping, he landed low. I mean, you're landing on flat ground. But there's, there's just a way to absorb that impact. It was unfortunate, it just slipped. So uncharacteristic of Garrett Reynolds, who's won this event oh. nine times. Every other hit was spot on. One mistake. So Garrett Reynolds, as we said, he's won this event nine times. He has 10 X Games medals. He's never finished worse than second place in this contest, he's currently in third. And you're seeing those tricks, those replays, they are spot on and dialed. Now this is where things got a little bit messy. Truck driver over the rail, lands flat, he's just a little bit offset and had to put a foot down to save himself from hitting the ground. And didn't change his score. 83.33, identical, .33, identical score, run. did not improve upon it. They're going to hand him a bronze medal, potentially, and he, it, he won't know what it is. So it all comes down to this. Chad Curley, our defending gold medalist from X Games Minneapolis, he's currently in fifth place. He's the last guy that can crash this podium party. He wants to change things up. He wants to mix it up. Defending gold medalist. He's got a target on his back. And these guys are, oh wow, 540 oh. off that ledge. Oh. And it was so fast and smooth. Dialed manuals, that's what he's known for. He's leaving it all out on the course right now, Chad. He does not want to miss out on the podium spot right now. Alex Dunneke, our current leader. He's guaranteed a medal, but oh, will here we it go. be gold? Here we go. Oh, no! wow! We just saw Garrett have his foot come down. He's, he's in disbelief right now watching. The score has not come in. Nothing is final yet. Wow. We may have just witnessed absolute history making in real time here at X Games Sydney. The first final There's of the, the score. day and it comes in. Wow. We're still a final trick. But you fortunately had his foot come off. 
he's speechless. He's he doesn't know what to do and right it's now. Set. Alex Dunneke yeah. earns his very first X Games medal, and it's gold. And he becomes the first Scottish athlete to ever earn an X Games medal. Let's head down to Mitch. <laughs> okay, everyone has gone crazy. First up, after this first run, you did not believe you were in first place. You laughed at me. You thought I was playing a joke on you. Yeah. Come second run, you put it down, and then you had to wait for all the... Like, this list of competitors is second to none. Was there pressure waiting on everyone to go? Yeah, there was a bit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm going to ask you to give me a bit more. You just won an X Games gold in Sydney's first ever X Games. All you boys are around. The crowd's gone crazy. How are you honestly feeling? Honestly, I don't know what to say. I can't believe it. It doesn't seem real. Well, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, boys in the booth, this is your X Games gold medals for BMX Street in Sydney. Me thinks Scotland is going to be having some fun tonight with that one. We said it at the beginning. No Scottish athlete had ever earned a medal at X Games in the history of X Games. And here comes Alex Dunneke winning gold. And speechless, it happens, man. Your first gold, you are in disbelief. It's going to soak in. Oh my God. So rich in storyline. Look at this podium. Dunneke earns his very first X Games medal. It's gold. Garrett Local Reynolds boy. earns his very first bronze medal. He has to settle for third. And Lewis Mills making his X Games debut. The Sydney local gets silver. The first medals handed out, and one of them goes to a local hero. You couldn't have scripted it any better than this. We've never seen a BMX Street Final at X Games quite like this one. Wow. This is a sign of things to come. Speechless. Speechless. Go emotions right now. Let's get a little crazy. It was Alex Dunneke's second X Games appearance, and that's all it took to earn gold. Garrett Reynolds, nine X Games gold medals to his career, had to settle for silver, and Lewis Mills, the local boy, just 20 years old. Incredible, but tonight we celebrate Alex Dunneke, the first Scottish athlete to ever earn a medal, and it's gold.